Hi all, this is a quick demonstration of uh, multi-client MIDI in Windows MIDI services, as well as uh, translation between MIDI 1.0 and MIDI 2.0. Um, so let me just quickly show you what I've got set up here. So if I say MIDI and num endpoints, I have a Waldorf uh, Iridium here that's running MIDI 2.0 firmware. So if I go um, MIDI endpoint properties and show the Waldorf, Iridium there, we can see that it is a MIDI 2.0 protocol device uh, by Waldorf and it has one, uh, one group uh, defined here, all right? So I can use that to send notes. I'm using it just as a controller here. I can send notes to, for example, this um, Surge XT synthesizer. Now the Surge XT synthesizer has not been updated uh, at all to use the new API. It's using the classic uh, WinMM API, uh, but we could still get access to all the data that's coming in through Windows MIDI services thanks to the work that Gary has done on the team to replumb WinMM to go against our service. So when I hit some notes on um, the Iridium, you can see that it's actually playing uh, the uh, synthesizer. So to bring that home a little bit more, if I say uh, MIDI endpoint monitor here, and I choose to monitor the Iridium, uh, any notes that are coming in here will show up in their MIDI 2.0 format right here on the console. So there we have the... There we go. There we have the note on and note off messages. Notice these are type four, which is a MIDI 2.0 um, high resolution note on and note off message. And they were coming through here on the Surge XT uh, in their MIDI 1.0 format, uh, thanks to the translation we have in the service. It's important to note here that these are both listening to the same endpoint. They're both using the same MIDI input. Uh, and so that's just multi-client that's just working there. But just to make sure that's super clear, I'll go over here to, um, to Reaper and I have a track that's armed here. You can see that it is listening to the Iridium. And if I record, hit stop on that. We could see all the notes uh, that came through there. Uh, in their MIDI 1.0 format directly into Reaper. And now again, neither Reaper nor Surge XT have been changed at all. They're using the classic APIs, uh, but the, the translation and everything is happening inside Windows MIDI services. All right, thanks.